Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about descriptors in the do's. What are descriptors? Descriptors are information regarding participants. As for example, this document is an interview with participant ID1. We've asked this participant some questions regarding online learning experience during COVID-19. But before that, we collect a few information about this participant, like age, major, years of post-secondary schooling, and device use during distance learning. This set is sort of a descriptor set. How can we add it in the do's? Let's see. To add descriptors, first we go to the main menu and click on descriptors. And then we go to the descriptor sets panel and click the plus the add button here. Here we can give a title to the set as for example, information about participant and then I click submit. In this set we have several fields. To add those fields I go to the set fields panel and click the plus button. A new window will appear. First title I'm gonna write participant ID. Now, for the field type, descriptors fields can take one of four types. Text or string, this is a set of alphanumeric characters. Number, date or a time, or option list, which is used for categorical data, a custom list of values defined by the researcher. For the ID, I'm going to choose the number type and click on Submit. To add another field, I click the plus button. And now I'm going to add each and I'm going to choose field type as option list. Option list is a special feature in the do's. It allows you to generate uh, visuals and to interact uh, dynamically with these visuals to view, for example, patterns and to see uh, distinctions between groups represented by these visuals. And for the option list, I'm going to add options in the field options panel. For example, from 17 till 19 years old, I click add. And from 20, till 22 years old, I click Add. If I want to delete an option, I click the X button. To rename an option, I click the Rename icon here. And to move up or down, I click the arrows here. Once options are added, I will click the Submit button. Add field. I'm going to choose Major and also type option list and I'm going to add options English, add French, add Arabic, math and sign. Submit. Years of post secondary schooling, also an option list, first year one, second year, third year, and four or more. Submit. Descriptor fields can only have a single option selected. But in the document that I've shown you, we have a question, device used during distance learning. This is a multi-option list. Now, to be able to add this list, I need to create four option list 
descriptors. The first one, do you use laptop with options yes and no? Do you use desktop option yes and no? Same for tablet and same for mobile phone. So I'm going to click the add button, title, use laptop, option, yes, add, option, no, add, submit, use desktop, Yes. No. Submit. Use tablet. Submit. And same for use mobile phone and submit to edit any field you just need to double click on it and the window will appear where you can modify the title change the field type delete options add new options there is also a checkbox called dynamic field. Now, for those fields, the dynamic field checkbox is set to false. What is the dynamic field? The dynamic field is a special type of field that is available in the DOS. It is designed to uh, collect data along several time points as for example I have a 12 months study and uh, phase one is the first six months and uh, the second phase phase two is the the last six months now to distinguish phase one uh, data from phase two I can create a dynamic field and I will call it phase I click cancel and for demonstration I'll add a field that is called phases and add option phase one add phase two add and I'm gonna click dynamic field and click on submit here we define one descriptor set with fields but i can have multiple descriptor sets this is used when i have a study with multi uh, level options as for example i'm gonna ask students i'm gonna ask parents i'm gonna ask teachers so i create a descriptor set for each category now we've seen how to add descriptors in a manual way I can export the descriptor set and fields by clicking on the export fields button. A message will appear with export type. I can choose between Excel 2003 and 2007. I will choose 2007 and click submit. A new window will appear, download is ready, click OK to download, I'll click OK. And I'll name it Online Learning The Do's Descriptor Fields with the date and I will click Save. Okay, and now I will open the Excel file to show you how uh, data is presented as descriptors. I can see the fields under the field name in column A. 
And then I have the type here with participant ID type as number and all the other fields as list and then options. And as you can see, options are uh, separated by comma. And it's dynamic is set to false to all the fields except phases. It is true. Now that we've seen how to add descriptors in a manual way and to export the file in Excel, I'll show you how to import descriptors automatically via an Excel file. Well, to do it, all you have to do is to create a blank Excel template. I can create a template by deleting the fields. and saving as a new Excel sheet with the name template in the do's. Another option that I do is to open a blank project in the do's. I'll show you how. I'll go and click on projects and I will load the manual adding project. This is a blank project in the do's. And I'll click on descriptors. And as you can see, I have no descriptor sets and no fields. So what I do is to click on export the blank document and choose the Excel 2007 option and click submit. Download ready, I'll click OK. And now I'll save this blank template as template descriptors. And I'll delete and click save. Now I'll click the template descriptors. This template is empty, but I have field memo type options is dynamic in the first row as field names. I will enlarge the column and I can write here, for example, the fields ID, type, number. I have no options and it's dynamic false. years of post-secondary schooling type list and I for options it is separated by commas one comma two comma three comma four or more is dynamic false age also a list 17 till 19 years old comma 20 till 22 also dynamic false and I'll add also phase it's a list and I have phase one, comma, phase two, and dynamic is true. Now I will save this template back to the do's. In this blank project, I can import the sheet that I've saved. I'll click the import fields and look for the template that I've saved. This one, Descriptors Manual Template Online Learning, open. And as you can see, the do's automatically added the fields. I'll click Next, OK. I'll choose a name for the set. 
information about participants import to new set and now I have the set with the fields imported in an automatic way via an Excel sheet. Now I'm going to load the other project, the online learning project, and the last thing that I'm going to talk about regarding descriptors is how to link descriptors to media. First, I'm going to import some document, media. I'm going to click on the media icon and click on add. A window will appear with several options. I'm going to import text. And I'm going to import just the first one. Click on open. Now, once the media is imported, as you can see here, in the descriptors field, I have zero link. I can double click on it. and choose the descriptor set and click on create and link descriptor and now I can write the ID I can choose the age range the major years of post-secondary schooling use laptop yes use desktop yes use tablet no use mobile phone yes and click on submit now for the dynamic descriptor fields i can choose in which phase it is for example for phase two and i'm going to click on submit and now i have the uh, media link to descriptors I can edit the link or unlink it and when I close this window I can see that I have one descriptor set that is linked this is all about descriptors hope that this tutorial was useful thank you for watching